Good morning, Cougars. This is Mr. Martinez on the last day of school uh, uh, with the morning announcements. Good morning, Bentley. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, buddy. Good morning, Jake. Good morning. Jake, can you, can you believe that we've made it to this last day? No, nah, I still can't believe it. It's, it's amazing. It really yeah. is. It just seems like uh, it was March 13th. All right, so we're going to go out in style today with uh, Samantha's flag. Uh, go ahead and take it away there, Jake. All right. Put your right hand over your heart and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you, Jake. Uh, good morning, fellas. Today is uh, Friday, June 12th, uh, that day that seemed so far away a couple of months ago, but it is here. Uh, time will pass. I remember when I was in school, I believe I was in fifth grade and I had a teacher that had underneath the clock, uh, this teacher had a, a quote up there that said, time will pass, comma, will you, with a big question mark, because everybody was always looking at the clock. And so um, if you sit there and you stare at the clock, it seems like it never moves. But uh, you know what? If you're busy, if you are creative, if you're working hard, time passes. It always does. So uh, congratulations to everybody. It's going to be even cooler today. So this is we're going to go out in style with uh, temperatures in the low 80s today. Uh, before we get started with our guests, I want to give a shout out to the boys and girls in room 23. That's Miss Manning's class. They sent me some wonderful flip grid uh, messages so thank you to everybody in room 23 uh, much appreciated and uh, really uh, enjoyed them very much uh, so everybody we have been for the last seems like two weeks i think right guys with fifth graders maybe a week and a half or so yeah like yeah like two weeks i think yeah two yeah. weeks so we've got another group of fifth graders waiting to join us i think we've got three like yesterday let's bring them in now here they come I see there's Anderson, I see Sophia, I see Charlie. Guys, unmute yourselves if you're muted. Good morning, fifth graders. Good morning. All right, listen, what a pleasure to have you guys uh, join us this morning. Thank you for getting up early and congratulations for making it to the last day of the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, we did it, right? Why don't we start with some introductions? Um, my name is Anderson, and my teacher is Miss Shaheen, and my favorite cake is ice cream cake. Ooh, good choice. Um, my fa uh, sorry, my name is Charlie Greshko. I'm in room 20, Miss Dorian's, and my, and my favorite pie is pumpkin. I do not like cake. Okay, all right. Um, my name is Sophia, and my teacher is Miss Jenkins, and... My favorite cake is red velvet cake. Red velvet cake. Okay, Bentley, what about you? You got a favorite cake or pie? Um, I mean, I would prefer a cake over a pie, but I like pumpkin pie and I like just ice cream cake, like Anderson. Okay, good. All right, what about you, Jake? Well, I like, well, so I like ice cream cake, but my grandma also makes a really good homemade chocolate cake. Oh, really good chocolate cake. And I kind of like apple pie, so yeah, so put that one in there. Yeah, but I, I, I tell you what, I love ice cream cake. Uh, there's a mud yeah. pie that Baskin Robbins has with, I think, a graham cracker crust, or it might be an Oreo crust. You had that one, Bentley? No, no, I was about to say I forgot. To, I mean, ice cream cake is my second favorite. There's this cake, I forget like where it came from, but it like in the cake, there's chocolate chips. So I enjoy okay. that. You can never go wrong with chocolate chips. So I would, I would go with that uh, ice cream cake too, but I, I'm a huge pumpkin pie fan, Charlie. Uh, just like you and Bentley, I love pumpkin pie, especially with a little dollop of uh, French vanilla ice cream on there. All right, so listen, uh, we're gonna do something fun with you guys today, but we do have one question and Bentley's gonna uh, give you that question now. Okay, so our question is, how have you been creative during the distance learning? Well, so I've been like expressing myself through a lot of music, art, and like writing. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anderson. 
Um, one thing that we that my friends and I have been doing that is creative. Um, to be specific, it's um, my friends Max, Luke, Noah, and I. So what we do, so we started a big chapter book in the, in the beginning of the year, and we did not know this was happening. So nowadays, we still work on it through Zooms. We schedule them. We have plans through Gmail, and it turned out to be like a 107-page book, and we're publishing it and printing it this week. We'll be that on awesome. Do you guys have a title on that book yet? Uh, yes, it's called The Class Chronicles. Nice. Wow. That sounds interesting. I would love to see it when it's done. How about you, Zoe? Okay. Okay. Um, I've been doing a lot of, like, painting and, like, projects. Like, I'm working on, like, um, painting this notebook right now. Very nice. And so how are you doing that? What, what, what's the technique you're using on that? Um, just, like, painting. Okay. Let's, like, that. All right. Well, listen, I think that for sure during the school closures and the pandemic, it's forced all of us to do things new in new ways, right? And be creative and maybe think about doing things like we never thought about doing before in the past. Uh, one thing that we've never done on the morning announcements is actually play a game. And so uh, we're going to invite our, our fifth graders to play reverse charades, meaning that we're going to put one of you in the waiting room and then I'm going to show everybody uh, that's watching the, the magic word. And when we bring you back in, we're all going to act it out. And we're going to see how long it takes you to guess what we are all acting out. So in, in a sense, it's reverse charades in terms of everybody acting and only one person guessing. Anderson, you're in Mrs. Shaheen's class, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to put you in the waiting room real quick so that we can uh, uh, get ready. And we're going to bring you right back. Here we go. Okay, so all right, uh, here's here's the word we're gonna do. Ooh. Everybody see that? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm gonna bring him back. Bentley, you've got a timer. We're gonna see how long it takes him to guess that word. You nobody should say the word. Here we go. Here comes Anderson. Okay, Anderson, is your microphone on? Uh yeah, now it is. Okay. Um all right, here we go. Bentley, are you ready? Start the timer. Here we go. Ice cream. What? Lollipop. Um, 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 uh, cone ice. Um, 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 ice cream cone. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, what was the time on that? Okay, 20 seconds. Okay, okay. nice job, Anderson. All right, Charlie, I'm going to put you in the waiting room. You ready? Yeah. Okay, you got to beat 20 seconds. Here we go. Oh, okay. gosh. All right, here we go. Uh, is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. All right, here's the word. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? All right, don't start acting until I tell you we, we, we're ready. Here we go. Here comes Charlie. Charlie, are you ready? Oh yeah. All right, Bentley, start the clock. Uh, dentist. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Three seconds. <laughs> three, three point five seconds, three and a half seconds. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> Sophia, you got your work cut out for you. All right, Sophia, I'm gonna put you in the waiting room. Here oh we go, gosh. Sophia. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. All right, here we go. You guys ready for the last one? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. Are you guys? Okay, here we go. Here yeah. we go. I mean, she could say throw up, barf, uh, uh, vomit. I don't know. All right, here she comes. Here she comes. Get, don't start until uh, Bentley starts the clock. <laughs> I'll do it like this. Okay, Sophia, is your microphone on? Okay. All right, guys, here we ready. Go. <laughs> Throwing up. Um, gagging. <laughs> Sick? 
close enough. Okay, the word was actually barf on that one, Sophia. But you were right. It is just another word. So we got the board. All right. So I think we got our winner. Chelly Grushka is the winner of the first ever reverse charades on Zoom. Three seconds. That's a high score. Hey, that was amazing. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. Holy smoke. That was that was really good. Uh, uh, what do you think? Should we do one for Jake? Yeah. yeah. Jake, yeah. I'm going to put you in the waiting room. We're going to yeah. do one more. Here we go. Get that clock ready. Here we go. Jake in the waiting room. Okay. And here we go. Uh, okay. Let's here. You're the president. All right. Here's the word. You guys ready? Must oh. Oh, this is going to be Okay. You, all right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. I'd let, uh, here it comes. Don't start that clock until I tell you. Here we go. All right. Okay, Jake, are you ready? All right, yeah. All right, you got to beat 3.5 seconds. Here we go. And okay. go. Watch that. Oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> what it was it? it? That's it. Three oh. seconds. He 3.1307 of a second. We got a champ there, Jake. <laughs> nice work, buddy. Wow. It was like this. That, was, that worked out pretty well. Very good. Thank you, guys. That was a lot of fun. Um, all right. What do we got next on our list there, Jake? Riley, um, well, I have a shout-out to a group of first graders who got together twice a week for eight weeks to read all the Dogman books on Zoom. Yeah, this kind of sounds like what Charlie was talking about, what he was doing with his fifth-grade buddies working on a special project. So these guys, it's Sawyer, Abe, uh, I believe Anna, Sam, Nate, and Cade, got together on uh, Zoom calls for eight weeks for a total of 20 hours. These are all first graders, and I think Anna's uh, an incoming kindergartner, and they read all the Dogman books. There are eight of them. I, I think there are eight of the Dogman books. Yeah, there's eight. Yeah, that's amazing that they did that. So uh, shout out to those first graders. Great work, everybody. Uh, what else? I think we have another shout out too, right, Jake? Yeah. Um I also want to give it. We also want to give a shout out to the second graders in room twenty nine, who demonstrated some creativity by finishing a class play, Jamie or work they started in February. Like Coach Marty says, finish what you start. They each filmed themselves at home. They said their lines with accents and even created props. Watch this. So we're gonna. I'm gonna put a little clip on just to give you a flavor. Now remember, every kid. They started working on this in February, and then during the break, every kid filmed their part at home wearing costumes and stuff, and then they spliced it all together to be one show. Here's a little snippet. Here it was. You were hollering so loud, you'd wake up St. Patrick himself with all your ruckus. What a creation are you fussing about? My back, Jamie, it's my back. As anyone who will tell you who's wrenched their back, no magic will fix that which ills them, and only one thing can do that and make it right. Off to bed with you, dear Eileen. You need your rest. Let Jamie worry about the gardening. And the planting. And the praties. Well, you heard them, Senator. Dig us up some praties. Those potatoes will come out themselves. So that's a little snippet, guys, and praties is an Irish word for potatoes. But isn't that awesome that they were able to finish their play? And it's actually a musical. Uh, it's wonderful. It's about 18 minutes long, and they sent it to me yesterday. So our hats are off. Mr. Newman, your class, the parents in the class that did the editing on that, uh, wonderful job, great creativity in finishing that play. So could not be prouder. Uh, listen, guys, today is our last day, Bentley, and uh, – I want to give you an opportunity to address uh, the student body. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you. First, I just want to give a shout out to my amazing parents who helped me through the school year and got me up every morning to do this. And I would also like to give a shout out to Jake for being such a great role model and coming on and just doing his best. And definitely to my other student council members that were on here too, and the other student council members who tried their best and they did a great job this year. And I also want to thank Miss Greenlee. She helped us through the whole year and she took up a lot of her time to help us. So thank you, Miss Greenlee, for that. And I want to also thank Room 17 and Mr. Glover. They were such great friends and classmates this whole year and I'm going to miss them and I hope I get a lot of them in my class next year. And I'm definitely going to miss Mr. Glover and his jokes and his 
tangents, his history and his science. I'm gonna miss that a lot. And to the Martinez family for just like waking ev waking up every morning. And I enjoyed uh, last few days ago when I when your family got up before you. <laughs> And I would also like to give a thanks to your mom, Miss Kincaid, for the first the first interview. That was my first time on the morning announcements, and she was really so kind to me and helped me through it all. So I would like to thank Mrs. Kincaid a lot too, and all the Carpenter students, everyone in Carpenter. We've all pushed through this hard time, and I wish you all the best on your next year, and. Lastly, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Martinez. Uh, I can't thank you enough for all that you've done. You've done so much for me and my friends and everyone. You are probably the best principal I'll ever have in my whole entire life. So thank you. Thank you, Bentley. Well done. Wow, I've met. Love Oh, my, my wife is yelling from the bedroom. Uh, she loves you there, Bentley. All right, Jake, the floor is yours, my friend. All right, I just want to say that I truly love Carpenter, and I hope everyone at our school appreciates how special it is. After five years at Carpenter, I have so many precious memories that I will cherish forever. I started at Carpenter in first grade and didn't know much people. I didn't know many people, sorry. But now I feel like everyone at Carpenter is a friend. In fun times and in tough times, we have really shown that we are cougars together and we will stay strong forever. Awesome. To all of my amazing teachers, thank you for helping me learn and grow and be prepared for middle school. To all of the teachers over the last few months, we saw you go from classroom to virtual lessons and still help us learn every day. I know I speak for all of the students and parents at Carpenter when I say a very big thank you to every single teacher. And finally, as I think about my time as one of the student leaders at our school, I want to thank some folks at the top. From the parents who volunteer to help support making our education so special, to our amazing principal, vice principal, and staff. They're not only helpful and caring, but they're truly fun and good people. And to all the students, well, my best way to say goodbye is with another rap. So. Nice, oh, here we go. I say the hip hop, the hippie to the hippie to the hip hip hop, you don't stop. I rock it out to the bang, bang, boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm or the boogie to beat. Now, Carpenter has been the best, let me tell you, just how sweet. For me, my family, and my friends, it's a special place to meet. See, I am Jake Bash, and I'd like to say thank you to the teachers, the students, and the staff for making Carpenter so cool. But first, I gotta bang, bang, the boogie to the boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the bang, bang, boogie. Let's rock. You don't stop. I just remember that the L.A. Clippers rock. For so long, you've heard my voice every morning for so long. But now it's time to say goodbye. I'm going to miss you when I'm gone. Well, it's on and on and on and on and on to middle school for me, but you keep on. And a special shout out from your school press to the greatest principal, Mr. Martinez, because you rock in a roll with so much soul, you could rock till 101 years old. And to our vice principal and entire staff, thanks for caring for us and always making us laugh. So remember, it's on and on and on and on and on. If the world gets crazy, we stay carpenter strong. Wow! My God! <laughs> Holy, that is a drop the glasses if I've ever heard one. Holy smokes! Uh, listen, guys, thank you so much. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt uh, uh, to say words after that. Uh, the only thing I'll say is, uh, everybody that's watching, uh, we are so proud of you. We did it all together. A huge shout out to your folks. Uh, you should all know that your parents, the teachers at our school, our entire staff, myself, Mr. Gordon, Mrs. Hong, we all love you all very much. We're all so proud of you. And if you uh, uh, take anything from this experience, you will know that when, when life gives you a challenge, if you stick with your family, you, you listen to the, the people that are in your life that are giving you advice, uh, you can overcome that obstacle and you can make it something great. So you can turn something negative into a positive. And these morning announcements are a perfect example. Uh, we, we've actually improved the morning announcements by doing them on Zoom. So I uh, cannot be happier about that. And we wish everybody a wonderful summer. Uh, thank you all. Are we ready for our final words of wisdom? Yeah. All right, here we go. And now for the final words of wisdom. Oh, oh and look who's going to join me on this. Oh, here we go.
Aww. All right, so boys and girls, er, every morning this school year, we've stopped for a minute to listen to the words of wisdom from around the world. We've heard the wisdom of poets, philosophers, politicians, and religious leaders. So what now? Do we expect to be the wisest young person in town? Listen to these words. Every person is a darn fool for at least five minutes every day. Boys and girls, we all do foolish things every day. We say something we wish we hadn't said. We do something we wish we hadn't done. We are too hard on ourselves about one thing and not hard enough on ourselves about something else. Do I smell good, Teddy? Yeah. So the goal this summer, boys and girls, the goal is to do your very best to make the wisest choices that you can. with something to think about. This is Mr. Martinez. And Bentley. And Jake. And Anderson. And Charlie. And Sophia. Make it a great summer vacation. Or not. The choice is yours. Fifth graders, all the best to you guys. You're gonna be awesome in middle school and beyond. Make sure you guys come back and visit. Bentley, you're not going anywhere. I'm gonna see you next year. I'm and uh, right here. Jake, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend every morning this year with you, my friend. You guys I'll, have to, whoa, here, we're, we're celebrating at the Martinez house. Have a and great summer, guys. I'll still visit back. My brother's still in the school. So That's right. I'll see you. still see me. All right. You guys have a great summer. All right? Okay.